flashbacks con la música. Hello my friends, Oscar Terramorti is here. I know it has been passing an entire year since the last video I made talking about my collection or uh, this kind of uh, video series I started to make about uh, how to get secondhand records in Finland or uh, the things I'm getting in flea markets and in a thing we have here in Finland called Huto Pistenet that is some kind of eBay and you can find some really really cheap albums even people just you know say uh, you know I, I don't like this band anymore and they sell the entire discography of band for a very good price you know in the floor I have three boxes uh, with 100 records each one I think or more a little bit more I still have to open those boxes and include those titles in my collection uh, EXO sheet because it's the only way I can control my collection I have too much music too many records so sometimes it's really difficult to you know especially uh, I'm that kind of collection if I, I like a band I will like to have um, every press possible I make I make that kind of stuff with only a few bands not all of them so in this video I will show you uh, the non-gothic post-punk cold way stuff I mean it's more metal related and more rock related and more alternative music related than gothic and post-punk and cold wave in wave in general because I want to keep all the, all those albums to make a video specifically to gothic rock official youtube channel this is the last vinyl i have received also the only one this year <laughs> so it's the 20th anniversary edition on vinyl of this great album rune 7 from soup um, from france and they play some kind of in this album at least is a uh, very gothic you know it's like a, one of the my one of the best albums from 1997 in my opinion very underrated band and you know this is a gatefold it's a double vinyl gatefold and um, I will show you very quick so you can see here this is a problem because I don't have any reference to show you I think I have to put an extra device to see what I'm showing you and this is a limited edition of 300 vinyls I don't know if you can see the number there and it's uh, the copy number 33 it's a black by the way black edition but uh, you know uh, I really love this band I have every record except the latest one I think it's under the name of Superation I have every record of these guys and um, was released this original was released by Holly Records which was one of my favorite record labels back in the 90s they have a really good band such as uh, Septic Flesh in the beginning Superation uh, and Ellen you know when I went to Berlin, I left the, uh, the, one of the vinyls on the turntable. My daughter just stepped on the chair and she scratched the vinyl because, I don't know, she wanted to play. She's, she watched very often to me playing records on the turntable. She probably wanted to make the same and she broke the needle scratching on the vinyl. I don't know so I don't have a needle right now I have to get a, a new needle and the vinyl at least the side A is totally fuck it up they have remastered this and in my opinion they fuck it up the album because uh, the only thing in my opinion they should made with this is only put a little bit up the volume but not remastered entirely now with this new remaster the magic has gone in my opinion it sounds horrible a way to fuck it up a 20 years record that never has been released on vinyl 
fuck's sake. Amazing. I think I will stand with this. That is the original. Also, the cover is... The cover of the vinyl is so fucking horrible. I prefer the, the original one from 1997 and the sound of 1997. Um, it's a real shame. I hope these guys, I don't know, the record label, or this same record label or the band made the vinyl, but with the original sound. Fuck's sake, fuck's sake, don't fuck it up your records making those stupid remasters. I don't want to make a review, so I will not just, it's a general comment about the record, so. You know, in this place we have in Finland called Huto Pistinet. Uh, as I told you in, in the beginning of the video, there's people selling uh, entire collections and they got bored or they become Christians or, or they just are not into metal anymore or they are in another kind of music or they just want money. Some people sell the entire collections. Uh, so, you know, there was a guy who just uh, put the entire cathedral collection. I had all these records in my past. Uh, if you don't know, I have been living, I have lived in three different countries. So my collection start to be huge in one country, then disappear, then when I moved to another country, so, movings and changing country with a lot of records is not a good idea, so... There's a guy who sell me uh, the uh, what I bid for some of the records of Cathedral, at least the most, most important records for me. So, so this is uh, Forest of Equilibrium, classic. Then we have the Soul Sacrifice CP. The Ethereal Mirror is one of my favorite records of Cathedral. Then we have Hopkins, the EP or single, one of the best uh, songs, one of the best Cathedral songs ever. Also, the video is really cool. The Carnival Bizarre, which is another one of my favorite records from Cathedral. And then we have another of my favorite Cathedral albums, that is Supernatural Birth Machine. All records from the same seller. I am very fan of Septic Flesh, especially from the first maybe six albums. Um, and one of the members has this side project called Cow Star and most of the records has been released by Holy Records. That is the record label who released uh, Septic Flesh and Superation as well. So I got the Cow Star albums. And you know, as a big fan of Septic Flesh, um, I got into this band a few years ago, but I never had their albums, uh, non-single albums, only digital version of their second album and I just got so in love with the sound of this band uh, because it's like um, uh, septic flesh but going entirely um, orchestral you know it's uh, because it has uh, the main composer of Cow Star is uh, Christos from Septic Flesh so this is the same title uh, the album from uh, 2000 and then we have, this is the album I had on, on, on digital, that is uh, Threnody uh, from 2001. And then we have The Underworld, that is from 2007. Uh, there's an album uh, that I miss here, that is The Scarlet Queen, that is from 2004. And I have the latest album. This is a nomina from 2013. They have new record label. They change. They switch. They have switched to Season of Mist, same as Septic Flesh did. So one of the things I really love from uh, Holy Records back in the late or middle middle 90s uh, was their digipack formats. Well, this is one of the 2000s editions, but uh, you know, 
they were the first, one of the first record labels to make eight and ten panels digipacks. I think I post this on Instagram, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And this is the uh, American Recordings by Johnny Cash. And this, my friends, is a metal box edition. Comes in a metal box. It's, it is really, really nice uh, edition. And I think I paid one euro for this. Last week I went to recycling center and I found a uh, six panel edition from this wonderful album and the surprise was I haven't I didn't have this edition and this cost me this cost me 70 cents and this is the edition of my collection that I got in Conti, the Red Cross in Finland. It, this cost me three euros uh, a couple of years ago or one year ago. So I got for 70 cents the Digipack edition. Sonic Temple, right? I got this and this is the copy of my personal collection. Exactly the same, but collector things barcodes are different and the press is different and both copies cost me 70 cents okay you see the difference right placebo the 2006 record um, I'm not sure if I have it because as I told you I have 300 records in boxes there I had to steal to add to my collection um, control sheet and um, but if I if I have it it doesn't matter because it only cost me 70 cents and this guys you know I'm really big fan of some bands some kind of era or uh, Gregorian chants or Enigma, that kind of music. I found something very curious. The first thing that caught my attention was the cover. And then the name, because it's, the name is Canto Finlandia, that is uh, in Spanish. So it caught my attention really, really fast. The cover is really doomy. It could be a doom metal uh, band. And I listened to a couple of tracks on YouTube and they sound like uh, some kind of enigma, uh, Gregorian thing, but in Finnish. So it's like, a, wow, a, a big surprise, right? They have uh, three albums as I saw on, on Discox, so I will dig them. And this is cost me 70 cents as I told you, I have more albums. Uh, I have Gothic, post punk Gothic Rock, and Cold Waves, and other Gothic related stuff. But I will let those videos for Gothic Rock official YouTube channel. So thank you for watching, my friends. Another uh, albums are coming in the following weeks, and another more metal stuff are coming. But before to go, I need to show you a couple of books I got. Uh, this week and I will start with the first one that is uh, Both books are really heavy shit Both books are really really good ones on its matter and uh, They are really heavy Hardcover books and I don't know the first one has uh, let me check around 550 pages and I guess I will, I will not even, uh, I think I won't read this entirely because there's only a few things that are interesting for me. This is the La Rose Encyclopedia of Music edited by Geoffrey Hindley with an introduction by Anthony Hopkins. 
So in terms about classical music and the history of music, uh, the first uh, civilizations who created music and uh, that kind of things, uh, the music in, it says in music in Indonesia, for example, music in India, that kind of things are really, really interesting. So I got it and this cost me only four euros. The second book I got is more heavier than the other one, literally speaking. It is the Metallion the Slayer Diaries uh, uh, by John Christiansen, edited by Tara G. Warrior, and this is huge, massive book that every stream metal lover or follower or whatever has to have. This is a must-have book and look, it's insane, insane. There's a huge collection of, well, I never had any kind of Slayer magazine uh, I think I read one, I think in the store of uh, the old Repulse Records, I'm not sure, I think was there, and um, well, this is uh, this is simply amazing, you can hear, you can watch Sepultura there. I will make a review of this. See you.